severe weather is striking north central Montana. Great Falls has been one of the hardest hit areas. A severe storm brought high winds, hail, and torrential flooding and rain. And the storms are still rolling through the area this evening. We start tonight with Brandon Michaels. So Brandon, what are you tracking right now? Well, we're still tracking a lot all across the area, and that includes a tornado warning that remains in effect in Judith Basin and Fergus County, and that's where we're going to start here this evening. The good news with this warning, uh, centered mainly over a rural area, now pushing just to the north of Hobson. Hobson was involved in the warning earlier, but still, if you do live anywhere in this uh, polygon, this red flashing area, you need to be taking shelter right now. You need to be getting to a sturdy, uh, shelter in an interior room and away from windows, ideally a basement, but if you don't have one, just get away from windows in a sturdy building. We'll show you the velocity on this. What we're essentially looking at is this area right here where the greens and the reds come together. That's showing us that this storm is still rotating strongly, so still has the potential to put down a tornado really at any minute here. So a very dangerous storm there. Again, the good news that is tracking over a mainly rural area that's embedded in a larger line of storms that continues to push off to the northeast. Some 70 mile per hour wind gusts possible with this line of storms. Uh, cities impacted including Big Sandy, Denton and also into Lewistown. It does look like this may track just north of Lewistown and that is the truth uh, with the tornado warning as well. But we'll keep a very close eye on both of those because of course if that were to impact Lewistown. That is a pretty big area with a large damage potential up to the north tracking another or rather we were tracking another severe thunderstorm in Hill County that has just been expired. We are seeing a good amount of thunderstorm activity there. Again, that severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect to the south or parts of Shoto, Fergus uh, and Hill counties. Now, the other story in Great Falls, we're done with most of the storms for now, but we have been seeing quite a bit of flooding uh, and we do have a flash flood warning that is still in effect until 6.15 p.m. We've got reports of flooding and now we've got a live report coming from meteorolog meteorologist, excuse me, Elizabeth Copeland. She's in Great Falls right now. Where exactly are you, Elizabeth, and what have you seen so far? Oh yeah, Brandon, we are out here right on the corner of uh, Northwest and 3rd Street where we saw quite a bit of flooding. Now, waters have receded quickly, but to be uh, to give you kind of an idea of how severe some of that flash flooding was, this manhole just behind me was actually pushed up by water from the underground, flipped and tossed about 20 feet as it floated away from the manhole cover. Firefighters just came and replaced that. So that's kind of how the strength of some of that flash flooding goes, and that's how uh, critical it is to watch for flash flooding with that severe storm that rolled through earlier. Now waters have significantly reduced now, but earlier when we got here just about 20 minutes ago, water levels were pretty high. We saw cars driving through a good six to eight inches just at the same intersection. We do advise that you don't drive through flood waters. This is not the only spot in Great Falls that saw flooding earlier today. So just keep that in mind. We still have a few spots of water on roadways in the Great Falls area, but we just continue to watch for that as more of those severe thunderstorms pop up through the afternoon. And I know, Brandon, you're going to have quite a bit more of that activity through the afternoon and evening. I'll send it back to you. But for now, in Great Falls, Elizabeth Copeland, MTN News. All right. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. As Elizabeth said, we're still tracking the storms. We've got that active tornado warning. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch for most of the area. And a bit later in the show, coming up shortly, we'll have more updates on all this severe weather for now.